Oh top. man, come landing on your chest. I guess third time's a charm. It's, it's got him in that double underhook. Here comes the underhook ball. Hip toss. He's on top of him. Got the cover. And RM1 showing his tenacity by kicking out yet again. I mean, we've got, what, Gothic went up to the top ropes, gave him a swanton kick out, just hooked him up in that, what looked like a double underhook hip toss. Kicked out of that. Gothic not sure, oh. and a low blow. Gothic arguing with the ref that he might have had to three count, and it looks like RM1's hooking up for the Rainmaker again. Reversed again. Gothic reverses it. And he hooks him in with what looks like a reverse guillotine. He's got him in that wrist lock again, it looks like. Nearly hyper extending that RM1 wrist. RM1 cannot reach the ropes. I think he's going to tap, folks. He's hey, tapping. That's it. Gothic advances. Gothic, the winner of this number one contender match over what looked to be an, an alliance coming out. But then Gothic taking it to RM1 and winning with the submission. I tell you, that's how you start out the night with NXWW right here with a great match. Congratulations to Gothic there taking it to RM1. Let's see, he looks like he's looks like he's gonna check on RM1. Told you they came out here as an alliance. They might be just, you know, that's mutual respect Strikes, right all there. All in good competition. I'd still like to know RM1. I'd still like to know what's going on with that little, with that little alliance coming out together. You know that that might be something to look forward to in the future, if you ask me. I mean, you just saw how how great they were against each other. Can you imagine Gothic and RM1 together? Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, don't adjust your screens because yes, I do look this good on your monitor. That's right, I am the reflection of perfection, Luke Monsinger. And yes, I am coming back to XWW. It's been about, what, three years since I've been there? And people have been asking me, Luke, when are you coming back? When are you coming back to the Squared Circle? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have your answer. It's November 22nd. I make my return to XWW. But a lot of people have been wondering, well, what have I been doing these past three years? Well, to be perfectly honest, when I left XWW, I got a handful of cash. So I've been spending it large and living large. So yes, I've been able to take plenty of time off and I could probably take another three years off if I wanted to. But that's beside the point. The fact of the matter is this. I'm back in XWW. And don't forget, November 22nd, I make my XWW return. That's right, I'm stepping into the squared circle again. This time, I'm going for the XWW title. So, they haven't named a number one contender yet for the XWW title? You're looking at him. The reflection of perfection. Luke, the Stinger Monsinger, is going to be the number one contender. And if you don't believe me, we'll come out November 22nd just to find out once and for all who the number one contender is going to be. Because I'll tell you what, I've got money, I've got style, and I'm coming for that XWW title. Welcome back, XWW fans. As you just saw right there, Luke the Stinger Monsinger giving a little promo about how he's going to come for the title in XWW. Comes. And speaking of Luke the Stinger Monsinger, here he is. The self proclaimed reflection of perfection. Definitely a fan favorite here in the XWW. be a fan favorite but it's like I said before Tim the fans aren't gonna get you the gold He's sitting definitely on the help having the fans on your side cheering you on to victory they definitely support the XWW wrestlers here well, that's that's fine but unless they're gonna get in the ring and actually like come win the battle then who wants their support here's the man making his debut in the XWW Crumbville I gotta say, I've never, I've never seen him wrestle before, but the hype about Crunkville, I've heard all about him. 
I've actually never seen him. I'm, I'm anxious to see what Kronkville can do in the ring, especially against a veteran like Luke the Stinger Monson. Right, we saw him on Extreme TV, heard good things, seen good things from him. Luke the Stinger Monsinger, he came out here ready to wrestle. It looks like Crunkville. Yeah, I don't, that's his wrestling attire. We got a little, nice little suit going on right here. Big Monsinger getting the fans to rally behind him. Here's the bell. And here we go. The winner's going to advance. There you to go, the number Crunk. One contender spot. There you go, Crunkville. Just attacking that's exactly, Luke Monsinger from behind. That's exactly it, right there. Luke wants to mess with the fans. Exactly what I said, Tim. He wants to get the fans. Right to the rope. Worried about fan support. You need to be watching your opponent. That's Crunkville. Blatantly back. choking him with a rope. And again. He's got a five count. He knows what he's doing. Get him, Crunkville. Now Cronkville trying to say that he's what the fans already, deserve to see. Starting to see a little bit of an ego coming out of Cronkville. Hey, if you can back Crunk's it up. Crunk's got to get in there. Cronkville obliging to the refs. Dropping an elbow on the back. Luke Monsinger. Obliging to the ref to stop choking, but he goes right back to the neck, working it with elbows and a couple of shots. Pushing Luke against the ropes. Here comes the Irish whip. Luke Monsinger Luke. reverses it. With a spinning back elbow smash. Vicious back elbow smash by Luke Monsinger. And a hip toss. Here comes the hip toss. Luke begging Crunkville to get up. And the fans getting behind Luke Monsinger. The self-proclaimed reflection of perfection. Oh. Luke Monsinger hitting a vicious neck breaker. And that's it. Crunkville Singer advances. Crunkville's debut short-lived at best. The fans love what they're seeing. Like I said, Luke Monsinger is always a fan favorite here in the XWW. Let's see, see how it happens. Luke Monsinger with the reversal and that back elbow smash. And that's what took Crunkville off his guard right there into a hip toss. And Crunkville. After that hip toss and that back elbow, didn't know where he was. Luke, as Luke Monsinger wrenched him up, setting him up for that neck breaker. And boom, there it is. And that's what ended. Spun him around 180 at mid and drops him right on the mat. And that's what ended Crunkville's short-lived debut here in XWW as Luke Monsinger advances to the number one contender match. So we now know that it's Gothic and Luke Monsinger that will be going on at one-on-one -on -one 